Two fantastic victories back to back. 6-2 down heading into the 15 second shot clock part of the match against Ben Flack. Pulls it back to a six red shootout. Oh, what a start for the young man. Tom Jones, 1-0 up in the blink of an eye. When things are going for you, they just seem to keep going for you. Golden break, 1-0. Welcome to the quarterfinals. <laughs> Steve Jameson and Mick Hill with you on this one. What a start, Mick. Yeah, he's living the dream, isn't he, the youngster? He uh, gets through the last round on the, on the six red. And yeah, first break, golden break, eh? I mean, everything's coming up Millhouse for him at the moment. Had a had a baby less than two weeks ago. Shout out to Sonny. And he's he's just he's just loving life at the minute. You you get that sense when you talk to him. Lovely kid off the table. And he is very much just happy to be here. But don't let that fool you. He's here to win as well. But he's loving every second. Jimmy Croxon won't be loving that. I can tell you that for free. He'll be loving it even less now. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a wry smile from the Joker, that. First glance, the Reds look inviting. <clears throat> Not sure if the one over the left hand side goes past the yellow into the centre. A bit difficult of our camera. Um, he may be able to play it onto the one over the corner pocket if it doesn't. So if he, uh, he's got to mind his work here. He plays the plant. He's got to be careful where the second ball's going. Um, We've not seen a huge amount of Tom Jones on the ultimate pool stage, at least not in the uh, in the big leagues, as it were. But when we have had a glimpse of him. He seems to be one who just thrives on the stage. He won his Challenger Series title. That oh, one. that one's gone wrong. Oh. Well. He won his Challenger Series title, and it was it was a ridiculous finish to win the decider against Conor Tracy earlier on this year. And his performance last night, ridiculous comeback. He is a he's a brash player in the sense he just comes to the table. He always believes he can make it. And by and large, he's been doing that, but that one has gone a little wrong early on here. Yeah, Jimmy's a bit of work to do here. He could, he's, he's a couple of turnover shot options. He's got bottom right, if he can get a decent cue ball. He's got yellow in the middle to stun into his bad yellow to pop the red over the pocket. Yeah, well, a little bonus there. He was actually stunning into his ball there to pop that, but he'll take it. He's actually got a. He has maybe got Anglia to play the yellow in the middle of the table, pot it, and then pot the red over the bottom right, yeah, and then play a little snooker. So that's um, that's worked out quite nice. I think he's seen that as well. Oh no, he's taking the other one. Mm. Okay, so that tells me he's just going to play. I think he's just going to play the turnover, is he? Unless he's going to try and play the combination. Can he look to try and play it maybe as a two-way shot? Yeah, yeah, he could do. But then you've still got the, the yellow bot, uh, top right to deal with. Um, but I guess you'd have an angle on the one in the, the left centre for that. Yeah, he's, 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 it's a good visit. It's a good visit. There, there was options. Um, I just wonder... But he's done pretty well there with what, with what he was given. Yeah, I just wonder if this red sneaks past this yellow. I had half a look on the overhead there. It looked like it might have room. Tom Jones going to go, it looks like. Yeah, great opening pot. That needs, needs that to run. He's got a double. Well, unless it goes like you suggested, we shall see. See, but you look at the overhead there and you think there's a little bit of room, but yeah. I'm less sure when I look at the main camera. It will be tight, whichever way. Well, he's on the double as good as he could have hoped for here. And just stop it dead because he can play cushion first to pot the one over the top. Not this time. Yeah, lucky. Yeah. So He's still not bad in the frame, though. Jimmy's still got a big shot to play. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy could play the turnover shot, though, top right. 
and then push the cue ball through and hide the one with the eight ball. A little bit risky. Um, left centre and knock the bad ball out is another option. Okay, so selected to pot that first and then play, which that's fair enough. Mm, a couple of options here. Does he go top cushion to knock it out, or does he stun onto the side rail to knock it out? He's gone that way. Yeah, good late shot. shot. Good shot. Yeah, good shot. It's gone a hair far, hasn't it? Needs another good shot here, really. Yeah, it's hard work's done, but yeah. no, he's got to finish it off. And it's not easy. No, because if he plays for it in the centre and he gets straight on the one in the centre or the wrong side, it's sticky. He's played that pretty well. Yeah, he's killed the cue ball well, hasn't he? I think he's got the nice line just to track towards that yellow. Now, does he drop it in or does he get excited with it and stun it over? <laughs> Took his medicine. Yeah, I like that phrase, get excited. I yeah, think because you played the right shot there. Yeah, he's took his medicine, hasn't he? I always feel like if you were left this shot to essentially win the frame, then you'd pretty be pretty happy. Yeah, good nice. visit to the table from James, Cro James Croxton. Sunday night. Jimmy James. He played a good frame. Plenty of other different names we could call him as well. He played a good frame because he was he, he was never really entitled to win that frame, so no. it was a good effort. Yeah, very good. So he'll be really pleased with that, oh Jimmy. And, uh, recently got himself I say recently, fairly recently got himself a new cue. And he's been enjoying uh, the fruits of his labour ever since, really. A good solid <laughs> pool career. This would be the biggest title of the lot. Were he to take this one down, but he's got a few big matches to play if he's to get that far. Tom Jones yesterday was front ball breaking in the main. He wasn't really oh, keeping his cue ball rise. steady. And that was why he switched to the cut break. He can't believe he's gone in off like that. <laughs> That's about as unlucky as they come, isn't it? So he looks like he's electing the yellows. Seem to be too much drama, does it? No, I'm trying to find a way that there would be, but now I'm with you. This seems routine. It's almost like a drill, isn't it? Just work your way to the bottom of the table. Dramatic circumstances in his second stage match to Jimmy Croxton. The six red shuffle, he was calling it. Came through against Sean Storey. This, the camera angle here must be really deceiving because I'm a little surprised that he hasn't played on the plant here. Yeah. Um, I, I thought the same. I thought the plant from the middle of the table was the, was the go-to. Yeah, he's played a great shot there, though. That didn't go. That was a harder. <laughs> that was a harder routine yeah, than I, I initially well, thought. He played it nice. There was plenty of room there, wasn't there? He played it with a little bit of what we call run inside, which was right hand spin in that instant. So when he hits the cushion, it, it kicks up the cushion again. Oh, 
Eight ball waiting for a 2-1 lead for the Joker. Nice. Job done. few in this afternoon. I say a few. Looks like Timmy's brought all of his family and friends along. A few in for him. All locals, of course. This is Jimmy's local club. Practices out of here a lot with uh, plenty of the local talent, like Gareth Potts, Liam White, lots of uh, other very, very good players around this neck of the woods as well. See that support for Jimmy. We hoping to do them justice. Oh, the old four railer. <laughs> the four railer, bottom left. Those hurt. Here we go. Is that is, is that a regular ball that you could look to make off the break? It, it's strange. It can it can sort of happen. Yeah, it's it, it it's weird. Um, how it sort of pings itself and finds it all the way around the table, avoiding everything. Um, and he'll be delighted with the uh, the split on the reds. Uh, sorry, on the yellows. Oh, I should say. Yeah, that's okay. Not too much to do here. One of those where that could have just gone a little bit wrong, that cannon, but it's come out quite nicely for him. Who's your pick for the tournament then? Uh, oh, I said... Uh, um, I'll put it on the spot a little bit. Well, uh, helpfully, I've I said this in the last match. So I think if I were, if, key emphasis on that word, if I was a betting man at the start of the day, I'd have said Scott Gillespie. Okay. Um, did you see any prices at all? Did you? No, I, uh, I didn't, to be honest with you. But I think it's an incredibly difficult <laughs> last day to have priced up, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. I think, the, I think most of the games are, are very, very even. You could probably argue that this second half of the draw, you've got two more sort of distinct, clearer favourites. Mm. With Jimmy being the pro versus Jones the challenger, and obviously the uh, the final match you've got coming at Cole Bedford against Carl O'Donnell. You'd imagine for most people, Carl would be a handy favourite for that, but Cole's been playing really well of late. Mm. It's what I've liked about this sort of last day. It, it's such a balanced last day. I really do feel like the title's up up there for anyone to go and win it. <laughs> Time for asleep at the wheel there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but it, it's, it's tough to call, and it, as we've already seen, you know, you get matches like, like John and Jake's earlier on, where John Rose got one of the sort of consensus best breaks in the world. Can't buy a ball. Can't buy a ball for love and money. Yeah, and all of a sudden, just matches just change like that. It's an incredibly tough sport to predict, as we all know. Played that well. Couldn't have picked that up better with his hand. But I think if this match goes to form, you make Jimmy the big favourite. But I think the one thing I, I will keep a very watchful eye on, Tom Jones showed us yesterday, he just... He's got such a brilliant, I mean this in a real positive way, he's got a total lack of respect for his opponent, for the table, for all of it. He, he just treats it like he is going to do it. Yeah. Doesn't mind who, who's opposite him. And he even takes a look at the table. He, you know, he had shots last night against Ben Flat. We think, oh, that's a really tough one. And he just strolled up to it and hammered it in. You know, he's, he, he's got a real positive attitude about him. He's great to watch. I, I really love watching whenever I see him play. 
we need that little bit of fresh air, don't we? Oh, I love air, it. Yeah, I so really I do. Kind of need a bit more of it as well, I think. Yeah, he's got a real youthful exuberance about him. He pulls in motion again. That's one to keep an eye on. Excellent. Wow. Can he see the red into the centre? <laughs> if he can't, he's in a bit of trouble. He may be able to... Mm, can he see the one top right? Tougher pot. I'm not sure he can get to the one over the centre looking at that. He can get to the one, I think, that you're talking yeah. to. Yeah, he's playing it now. Not easy, though. Not an easy starter. And his frame ball, really. Nice pot. Do you know, I know this will probably be maybe oh, your first... I've said frame ball, it's landed there. Ah, he might be okay. Yeah, he can click the one to the middle hole yeah. in the yellow, or right? He may be able to play it up past the eight without going in off. Mm, yeah, I haven't looked at that again, I don't like that. I think, can he sneak it in the middle? He just can't, he can't can't get in position can he yeah, he's yeah he's digging not that he could do much with that you know but he's very unlucky to find himself Chinese on the eight ball like this he's going to turn it in rain rain in time we should stress if this is your first time watching Tom Jones as well at home he's he's not all all out attack he is he's got a sensible pull brain on him he, he knows when to rain in his first instinct is always to go but if if it doesn't look like it's happening for him, he's he's not afraid to, to pull in the reins. Because Jimmy's in a pretty horrible position here on yellows. In this position right here. I'm looking, can he play through the gap of the reds to hit the rail first on the yellow in this bottom left-hand corner and kind of stick the white there? He's playing something else. Sure about that one. I don't think he had a lot, but mm, I think there was m there may have been a little bit of something, a bit more inviting to go up. But you see what I mean about the way that sort of Tom played, even the way he cues. You know, he's got a real positivity about him, doesn't he? He's got a real purpose. He's one of them kids you can't help but just have a little giggle, can you, if you know what I mean? He's kind of... There's another, he, he, his pal as well um, from from uh, from Manchester, a young Kean, Kean Monaghan. They're yeah. really good pals, them two, and, and, and he cracks me up as well, to yeah. be honest with you. <laughs> He'll probably be watching. Um, yeah, they're good, they're good kids and they love it, you know what I mean? They... Um, like he's, he's like you say, the loving life, and he yeah, he's, he's crossing, genuinely crossing just his pool balls, and you know <laughs> what I mean. He's genuinely just happy to be here, and he's taking full advantage as well. He's he's very much in this match. Obviously had the golden break, which helped, but he's on the board in in open table, if you like, with with that display in that frame. Very nice. One that Jimmy might have liked to have had back, but. Tom Jones is in the mix. And as I say, I feel like to if, if all things are right and it goes dish for dish, Jimmy is favourite, I'd say. He's the more experienced player. He's, he's done it at a higher level and you'd have to make him favourite. But if it almost gets sort of dragged into the trenches and it becomes a, a match that gets decided on a 15-second shot clock and it gets mixy... Just feel from what I've seen so far, Tom Jones, he seems to thrive in those scenarios. I spoke to him last night after his comeback against Ben Flack. He was 6-2 down nice to break. Ben Flack, who couldn't miss a ball. Nice what a break control. that is from Jimmy. Yeah, nice control. And I just said to him, you, you just look like you're having the time of your life out there. He said, yeah, I was loving it. Yeah. And we've talked to enough of you players to know how hard and how <laughs> difficult the 15-second shot clock is. He's the first person I've ever heard say that he loves it. Well, yeah, because it's, it is that kind of youth, isn't it? It's that, you know, it's almost like that 
brash kind of naivety to yeah. it all. And, and, and it's, yeah, I mean, I, I remember speaking to, um, to Lee Kendall about this years ago. Uh, Lee obviously being the England captain and, and I was a player, then a young player. And, you know, everything was, experience was talked about a lot. And I know it yeah. is anyway. But, um, you know, it, it, it's, that's a fine line as well because you wouldn't, you wouldn't offer up the experience, don't get me wrong. You'd rather have it than not have it. But with experience comes a few battle scars as well. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, big error, hello. Big error. Um, yeah, with experience brings a few battle scars. And, you know, sometimes it's, it, it's a good thing to be sort of ignorant to it and a bit naive to it because yeah. you just play. You just get on with it. Yeah, you, you don't overthink it. No. Jimmy will be overthinking that shot for a little bit, I think. It's the sort of frame that Tom will really want to finish and he'll really want to back up and it will just make Jimmy sit on that for a bit. Nothing for straight. Nothing for straight, Tom. Oh, poor pretty shot. Pretty straight, yeah. yeah. Poor shot. He's yet all the all the world to land in there, not to be straight. Um, so that that probably was one of those times where experience is a good thing. Yeah. You know, he's mm, that was a little bit of youth there, a little bit of youth coming out, leaving himself straight. Well, he's not in the worst position. It, he'll be thinking to himself, "Yeah, okay, that was a mistake, but if I knock this one in, then we're back on track." And nice. what do you know? Nice. And then the youth goes the other way, like, I don't care where I am, I'm going to yeah. knock it in. As and opposed to thinking, what, uh, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah. And do you know what? That's, that's what I've loved about watching him. It is like he just doesn't... Yeah. I, I want to say he doesn't care, but that sounds like a negative. I think it's a brilliant thing. He's got such a, as you say, youthful naivety about him. Just takes it on its merit. Yeah, great visit to the table, and, and Jimmy will be sitting on that mistake. I think he was a little bit unlucky there, or should he have seen the line into the middle pocket? Uh, well, I mean, in all fairness, he's, it's a bit of a mishit because you're trying to catch the rail and the ball together, really. So you, you, you've, you're not really even trying to catch that side of the ball, do you know what I mean? So it looks like he's just fractionally missed the ball, but, you know, he wanted to be kind of at least maybe two or three balls inside that line anyway. Yeah. So he didn't really get any, anywhere near enough uh, side spin that he would have intended to put on. Nice again. That cut breaks for his friend. Since he since he went to it, he'd have loved that yellow to have dropped. Yeah, he would have. Middle. He really would have. But yeah, since he went to it last night, he found some real success. You've got to remember that he's not on a on a winner anymore, and got to stop <laughs> whacking that cue yeah. against the legs. But I mean, he's he's pretty good because I mean he can play the. Play the yellow to the top, he can chip off the yellow and put onto the red and put the yellow. He can play the four ball plant, he can play, I mean, there's so many options. So make your choice now, young man. As a commentator, you're not supposed to show any bias, are you? And, and, and I don't mean this in any way, shape or form towards anybody else. What a story if you have to win the event. Oh, yeah, I mean. You know, it's when I know like one or two will be going, oh, you know. But well, that was a nice little double kiss to give himself the angle. Yeah, it was. And just with everything that he's got going on as well, you know, new dad. <laughs> First time dad, it was yeah, like less than right. two He's weeks flying, ago. He? It's, 
is yeah, crest of a wave indeed. Um, but yeah, not not wishing anything bad on anybody else, but it would be some story if he was to win. He'd owe Christoph a drink, wouldn't he? <laughs> he would. He would. A big shot here. A win or lose the frame shot, you'd think. Oh, rush of blood. Oh, he's had a roll. He's had a bit of a roll. Okay, Jimmy can play a, a <laughs> pretty, pretty good safety shot, but still. Yeah, Jimmy's face there is is he saying, "Yeah, you've had a roll." But well, you it? wouldn't be that disappointed, would you? Because no. it's not difficult to chip off this red and put the cue ball on the side rail. Has he left it? I say it's not difficult, but has he left him a shot? He might have done. And Nothing easy, of course, but... Well, Tom would just be delighted to have anything exactly. to go at. He's only got three yellows in the frame here. There's no, there's no merit for him just containing. If there's, a a if there's a way to go, he's going to go. Has he left him a dip here? Oh, no, he's got to cut it into the top right. Oh, well, maybe he shouldn't even be playing it. Hold on to your hats. Yeah. He's, he's well, not sure well, I'm going to go. Trying to tell, that may have been a safety, you know. Cue ball top of the table, yellow into a better position. Don't think that was an attempt at the These park. youngsters don't give a monkeys, do they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good part from Jimmy. He's as good a potter as anyone, really, Jimmy Croxton. He's, he comes well, from the he, snooker he, background. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, he played a lot of snooker as a junior. Lots and lots of snooker. So, you know, certainly the potting and the cue inside, I think, has never been an issue for him. Um, I think he, you know, he could tighten up his shot selection a little bit from time to time, considering the fact that he's had a, the people to practice with. Um, you know, like that, for example. Do you know what I mean? It's, that's a little bit of his game that lets him down a little bit. Because kind of... Mm, got a shot to play here. He's got a big shot to play here. Pot's good. How's the cue ball? It's not great. Yeah. And that's for me, like, with five balls, really, he's... he's well, I would say if I was Jimmy, if he asked me, I, what I would say to him is I'd say you're sort of better than sometimes you you, you take care over, if, that, if, 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 if that's right. Do you know what a shot he's played here, though. Yeah. This what, is what a I mean. shot he's, he's played there. He's got all the shots. Oh. But he, he, your point is he... He shouldn't be having to play a shot no, that good. No, not so, no, not somebody of his level of ability and obviously the tools that he's obviously got in the box. Yeah, that's a hell of a shot, that from Jimmy Croxton. Needs another one to avoid this yellow if he can. Can he nip it? Yes, he can. Lovely. Good shot. That's two really stellar shots from Jimmy Croxton. And he's back in front. And good to hear that little bit of atmosphere out there. Obviously brought a, a lot it's with him. Been, he? Yeah, yeah. Bus load in from Newcastle under Lyme. Stokes number one. He's had a good run to this stage as well as Jimmy. 8-5 over Craig Dixon and took down Phil Parkin, who I think has been playing really well this year. And in his second stage match, he had Gaz Royds, who was... The challenger who came up, and he struggled a little bit in that match, Jimmy. I think he was, if he's honest with himself, stumbled over the line a little bit, 7-3. And then his match against Sean Story was brilliant. Played really well, so did Sean. Went all the way to the end, and a six-red shootout separated them. <coughs> Jimmy went first in that one. Set a very good time, I think, around the 21-second mark. Sean couldn't quite match it. Quite as flush that time. 
Yeah, and has he left a red? Does the red go into the centre? I don't think it does. So he's going to have to go with a slightly trickier set of the two because, in all fairness, those reds are sitting better than the yellows. I don't know if yellows are bad though. No, they're not. They're not. They're not awful, are they? I mean, you know, but they are trickier. This one that is the one to the left of the cue ball at the moment. That's his sort of. That's a really tricky ball. Yeah, I wonder if he can draw back into it now. Yeah, you're never in doubt what, what he's playing, are you? <laughs> no, well, <laughs> you, you, you're, you're hoping that they play your shot, so it yeah, looks like yeah. that you're you're calling it <laughs> yeah. right. It's, it's when you play when you call it and they don't. It's like. Mm. Just read with his cue action because it's so purposeful, and you could see he was right, so aiming right at the bottom of the ball there. Probably bump it back up again. Um, that, hap that that is actually a, a, a thing, though, um, in cue sports. That when you were a youngster, you tend to cue up quicker, and as you get older, you 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 you, you waggles to the ball slow down. Uh, the pr a big example of that, obviously, what the, probably the most famous cueist would be Ronnie. If you yeah. watch Ronnie O'Sullivan when he makes his 147 in five minutes, you watch how quickly he's waggling oh, to the ball, yeah. and then when you watch him now, it's much, much slower and more deliberate uh, when he's uh, queuing up to the ball. Yeah, it's Stephen almost like Andrew watching him fast forward, isn't it? Yeah, John Higgins the same. Um, Killed that in nice. Melin similar. You know, it, 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 yeah, this, it definitely does change. Yeah, because if he cues this way for the next 30 years, he's not going to have a shoulder left. No. <laughs> and obviously, his cue ball will tighten up as he gets older. The knowledge of the white. And your knowledge of the white's only going to be like that. So when you're queuing up so aggressively, our fan is similar. Your touch isn't quite as good because you're addressing the ball so, so quickly. So how can you get the feel for the touch when you're so aggressive to the white? If that makes sense. Here. Eight ball, I think, does go to the top right. He came around to have a look at that. He's tried to check it up. Well, he's got a shot. It's tough, but he's got a shot. He almost knows the cue ball's safe. You're going to straight into this red. This is just about making the pot. Give yourself a shot. Talked about earlier. He won't be beating himself up about how he got here. This is all about making this shot. What a pot. Yeah, he doesn't care, does he, Thomas? I love him. Breath of fresh air. Yeah, I think he's your new favourite player, isn't he? <laughs> he's, he's on, I, I, I said this to you before we, before we came into the, into the booth before the match. I, I mentioned, you know, I know you've not seen him play before and just sort of mentioned what he did last night. And I, I said, you know, I think you might have your work cut out if you're sort of talking about pattern play, but he's, he's entertaining to watch. Mm. He's up and at it, look. Can't wait for the balls to be racked. Yeah, that's what one hour of sleep will do to you. Yeah. That's what a night feed will do to you. <laughs> Four all, 24 minutes to go. This is right in the balance. Eight ball on the move again. That's a better cut break. That's a lovely split, I think. What's his nickname? I don't know if he has one. I'm not sure. He may do. I must admit, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Could, are you, are you going to suggest one? Is that what you? Well, <laughs> it's funny. You know, uh, obviously he's from Liverpool, isn't he? Yeah. And Birkenhead. I'm thinking of his hair and obviously the way the, the way he's jumping about the place. And when when George Best was in his prime, <laughs> they build him the fifth Beatle, and he obviously, you know. I think he'd be. I think he'd love that title. I like I like I like, I like Tommy being the fifth Beatle. <laughs> look, I just. He plays his shot. He sweeps his air back out of his eyes. He's look. He's at it. Look, it's great. The fifth beetle. Look, Tommy Jones. <laughs> yeah, he's got the look of a drummer to me. Mm, it's great, isn't he? So he's got a little shot to play here. Is, can he follow this through and just play short position on the yellow to the bottom right? He I can, so. yeah. I think he was intended to go further, play it in off the red, so he had the yellow into the same pocket. But because he's landed a bit short, I think I think your shot is right, yeah. I think he runs it through and plays it the other bag now. 
It's just about got there. Yeah, does he have to nip this just to hold it? Yeah, he, he, yeah, he can nip it, and it doesn't really matter what side of the yellow he lands, really. Yeah. Yeah, He's landing that, that, that that's it. a bonus, landing that side of the yellow, because he pulls it up inside the reds now, and gets on the eight ball nicer. It's a lovely shot. Oh, <laughs> never in doubt. <laughs> dicing, he's dicing. This for the lead. Wow. Lovely. The fifth beetle is rocking. <laughs> the fifth beetle's on one, isn't he? <laughs> Well, here is his route to this stage. Now, it comes with an important caveat, of course. 8-3 win against David Thompson. He was then defeated. It was a great match, actually, by against Christoph Lambert. It went very close. A couple of great shots in that match from memory as well. Christoph got the win 7-6, but wasn't able to attend his, uh, his second stage group. And therefore, lucky loser comes in. Tom Jones up against Craig Lakin. Played great, 8-3 win. And then 6-2 down with about 12 minutes left against Ben Flack. He spins four in a row and wins the six red shootout. And he went first in the six red shootout as well, was put into bat and set the time, 21 seconds. It was very good. Like a whirling dervish around the table he was. Nice break, Jimmy. Yeah, that's lovely from Jimmy. Not I'll bad. take that all day. Could, could have been a little bit kinder, but, you know, you're happy to make your ball. Having said that, and I've looked at it again, they're not bad at all, are they? He'd love to land on this one in the corner now and screw straight back into his bad ball. If he hasn't got that, he will leave the one top left and stun across. But you're not guaranteed. Yeah, he's dead straight though. So he's in a, in a crazy type of way. You can kind of get the gap here and all silly things can sort of happen. It's, but, um, yeah, big shot this. Nice. He's played that really well. Good nice. shot. Nice shot. <coughs> Felt like he controlled that well. Yeah, he hit it nice. He crunched it. He was positive and he got a good line. <coughs> a hair. Shy. It's okay. okay yeah, he's just going away from his final yeah, red, but he can hold this fine. He's, he's okay. These two continuing to go tip for tap. Oh. Well. That was a slightly odd, odd way to play that shot, wasn't it? I thought he would have played for the eight ball into the same bag. Should we say pocket? Oh. That makes me a hypocrite, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, that could be a huge turning point in this match. It's still, it, 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 there's still a long way to go, but these two play quick. You know, it's 19 and a half minutes. But you know, look at that scoreline, it's creeping up. All of a sudden, you take a look at 6-4 versus 5-5, five, five, and it could. Tom's got the next break. You know, it could be a huge swing. He's short here. Mm. It's just okay, isn't he? He just pots his balls. Yeah, he does. 
doesn't overcomplicate it. We <laughs> make such a simple game so complicated. Yeah. Well, that's, that's that's what you do when you get older. Yeah. You get OCD with it, you overthink it. You it's great at this age. <laughs> <laughs> feel like you're watching it through rose-tinted yeah, spectacles well, a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's... It, well, it, bring, it, it brings back, you know, brings back, brings, dream. brings back memories. What a great shot that is. Just need to roll this in. Big turning point. Oh, it's a huge moment in the match, that, isn't it? Huge, yeah. huge moment in the match. Oh yeah, we, t we talked about Jimmy's ability. These are not the sort of shots that we expect him to miss. I'm a little bit more surprised in how he played it as opposed to, you know, and you can miss anything effectively, but I thought it was a, a slightly strange way in which he played it. Well, there we take a look at the at the draw. Jake Dillon, 11, Scott Gillespie secured in the semi-final. I'll be back later on this evening. Still got Cole Bedford versus Carlo Donahue to come. But yeah, I think you're absolutely right, mate. It seemed strange to go into it. But even then, you're thinking you still shouldn't miss the part. No, but it was played so heavily as well. I mean, he, he really hit it, didn't he? Tom Jones find a way wow. to go from 6-4 to 7-4. What a time to hit a break like that. Yeah. What a time to hit a break like that. All of his breaks have come out a little bit smelly. They've not been plain sailing. But if he can find a ball here, he is odds on to go on the hill. He'd be happy enough with them, I would think. <laughs> So hair careless, I think, is it? Hmm. Yeah, he's landed slightly the wrong side, hasn't he? Ah, nice little. Nice Just little play side. the shots. Yeah, nice little flick. I'll play top left here. Play top left because you're guaranteed a shot on the eight ball. Then, well, if you play this way, you. Oh. Thomas. This could end up smelly. Or it could end up okay. Think you can just kill this in, can't yeah. you? And have a shot. Yeah. That's something that you know, I'm sure he'll learn and, and pick up as, well, I mean, it wasn't, as things it, go through. It wasn't wrong. I mean it no. certainly wasn't wrong. It's just it's just how he's feeling. He's feeling good, so you know, he could have took took either or to be fair. Yeah, he is feeling good. He is feeling very good. And someone who isn't right now is Jimmy Croxton. The beetle is flying. <laughs> he certainly is. Well, was this the swing point in the match, Mick? This was the shot that, that Jimmy played. Yeah, just watch how he plays it. I thought it was slight. I mean, I'm... Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. I thought it was a nice little sweet stroke. Play the eight ball in the same pocket. Our expert commentators just walked in. Mr. Webb, I wonder what he thought of the shot. Okay, he's saying uh, he likes the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> he's purist, is, uh, is our Simon. Big break this for Jimmy. He is up against it. There can be no more mistakes. The break is dry. The teapot is out. Is the fifth Beatle rock and rolling into the semi finals of the Masters? Is. I think he is. Oh, oh, wow. We have another turning point. 
Wow, wow, wow. Can you oh. believe it? Some of the things that can happen on a table. <laughs> it is a crazy game at times. It's a crazy, crazy game at times. Stun up and knock the bad ball off here. Yeah, I don't think you'll mind that going off the knuckle. That's nice. Last chance saloon for the Joker. There's so much time left in this match. These two have cracked along. I mean, they could almost get two all the two frames two in before the 15 second shot clock. Not far off. Tommy J could play two best of 15s in this time. Yeah, he could. Will that come back to haunt him now? He's got to put it out of his mind. He's got to sort of have that, what we talked about already, that sort of memory, that goldfish-like memory. Just put it to the back of your mind, forget about it. He's got the next break. Whilst Jimmy is clinging on in there, he can't control what happens. It's out of his hands. Stays in it. Jimmy Croxton. It's not over yet. we go there we go sometimes in this game it doesn't quite make sense but errors multiply they compound when all of a sudden a mistake from Tom Jones and a dry break gives Jimmy Croxton the chance to punish him twice So, um, how big is that moment going to be in the last rack? Yeah, you do wonder. Just as Jimmy's error could have been a huge moment for him, will that be the moment for Tom Jones that he looks back on? He's looking at pushing through here and playing the yellow long. Well, I thought he was. I thought he was going to play the yellow long yeah. off the rail, off the ball, which would open the, um, the yellow into the same pocket. He's an awkward yellow. I mean, OK, he's got room to get on it, but... Mm. Time will tell here. I think Jimmy might have missed a trick there. I think if he played on the yellow on the left-hand side, long up into the top left, in off the red ball... Not only does he eliminate the yellow that he's hitting, he also opens up the yellow that is awkward to get on. Granted, he can get on it here. Um, but he's still got his work to get back to the awkward yellow again. So the other way, I think, was killing two birds with one stone. Yeah. Um, again, time will tell. We've been wrong before, Jamal. Oh, many a time. And if he's not on it this time, he has got a very difficult shot to play. Very, very difficult shot to play here. Well, the gap he's got to hit is tiny. Well, he's landed on an angle, which is it's not one way or the other. This is like a like a punchy stun across. It's awkward. 
Just like that. Excellent oh, great shot. shot. Super shot. That is much better than what it looks. That was a very, very good shot. But again, almost to your point, Mick, similar to a finish that he had earlier on in the match. For as good a cue as he is, and he really does have all the tools and all the shots, it goes your way. Probably doesn't have to play a shot anywhere near as difficult as that. Well, yeah, and obviously he's, he, he, he looked pretty good out there, though. He's, I think he's hitting it well and he's feeling yeah, good. He so is. it's one of them days where, you know, you can get away with that sort of thing because he's feeling good. But I think on the days where he's not quite as sharp as he'd like to be, that may be where he would maybe want to just have a little bit of a look at some of the the shot options. That's for for such me, a anyway. Good shot, that. But that's that's. You can't hit a ball any better than that. No. That's lovely. Because slightly too low on the white there, and he's in no man's land. Yeah, that's everything there, isn't it? It's, it's pace control, it's line, it's contact. Absolutely nailed it. So Jimmy Croxon breaking to take us to Hill Hill. Still 11 minutes in the match. This one has rattled by. There won't be any six red shootouts, folks. I can promise you that. Needs a ball. Tom Jones is already on his feet. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't really kind of... Yeah. Mm, it was OK, wasn't he? I mean, he certainly wasn't a bad break, but... Well, wasn't one of those where you're like, how on earth is it dry, you yeah, know? Yeah, it's one of me, and it's a bit of one of them. You'd have liked a little bit more angle here, wouldn't he, one way or the other? Well, you know he's having a dip. work to do here. Yeah, there's just that first shot. If it had a bit more angle, he could have chipped the awkward yellow on the left-hand side over the middle pocket, left himself on the other one, and there'd have been a lot more kind of options. Now he's got to play a couple of cute shots now. He's played that nice-ish. But, hmm, tester. Yeah. This is a tester. This isn't as easy as it looks on the screen. Yeah, this is tight. Nice. Do you know what I mean? It, it's like he just has no yeah. respect for the pot, just gets down and plays it. Play your yellow on the left-hand side. It's the eight ball. This is, this is the match right here. Crisp and clean. Little awkward here. Think he's okay though. Is he on his last yellow? No. But what when he's played the one down the rail, why has he come across the table? Why has he not killed the white and played the yellow bottom right? Well hold on. There's still a frame to be won here. And it may well be by Jimmy Croxton because Tom Jones can't make the kick shot. Jimmy, big chance. I bet Jimmy can't believe he's still in the match. Oh, Tom Jones knows that was his big chance. He may still get another one because it's his break next. But he is rather stumbling over this finish line as Tom at the moment. Well, I think in fairness to Jimmy at this point, Jimmy's... Jimmy has played the better of the two players, hasn't he? Because he's had less opportunities and trickier opportunities, it would have to be said. So, you know, he decided to just uh, pull up a little bit, which is fair enough. Well, it's not a bad shot, because that yellow is, is dead in the water, isn't it? Yeah. He almost wants him to go close to hitting this. Tom doesn't really want to disturb no, it, this. Well, Tom doesn't really want to hit it. Yeah. <laughs> that was what I was trying to say in, in a way that didn't suggest <laughs> Did that he was going to deliberately foul. Yeah, but no, I totally take the point. 
What does he play here? What does he play here? Hmm. Well, this is the shot, isn't it? He's screwing into it. Well. That'll do. It's okay. There was no real urgency to have to go, though, was there? No, he's... You know what I mean? There was no real urgency to go. Yeah, we're on to the 15-second shot clock now, but there's loads of time left in yeah. this match. He, he could have taken his time with it a bit. And this is it. There was no uh, there was no urgency. He's put himself under it here. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. How thin is it? Can he actually pot it and stun into his bad ball? That's what he's playing. He wants to get this thick, otherwise he's in trouble. Otherwise he's in trouble. Oh. How would you like these? And he doesn't want to touch in the cushion either, because he's got a striker rail. Has the referee checked to see if it's touching the cushion? Because if it double kisses. Plays the snooker. Ooh. This is tense. Can this he see is can he see the edge? Tense. No he used to him though, is he? Hit and hope. Is it his time? Is it Tommy's time? Oh, oh, it so nearly was. Oh. Oh, that was close. And we go into the hill. Jimmy Croxton will sneak over the line in this frame. Tom Jones, the rattle of a knuckle away from a spot in the semi. But we go the distance. 7-7. Seven, seven. Hill Hill, next frame takes it. Mm. Oh, how close was Tom Jones there? It's been an exciting match, though. Oh, it's been brilliant, this. I've enjoyed this. Jimmy's played his part, certainly. Let's have another watch. How close was he? Oh, oh, both knuckles. You can't get closer than that. You just can't get closer. Tom Jones then has the break. He still has it in his hands. Does he make a ball? Does he make his ball? He'll be crossing everything that he does. Oh, he hasn't. Oh, that's ball rolling. Has no he got a first shot? way. Has he got a first shot? Let's have a look. It looks like nothing's going to drop. Look, nothing's going to drop. All of a sudden. Wow. And he's Three got a ball first plant. Shot. Three ball plan. Look at look at the beetle. He does not give a monkey's get folks. Three ball plants and everything. Yeah, how about that for an opening shot and a decider? I can't even say mind his work because he just it's not where he's at, is it? He's just got a he's just got a potter, isn't he? Oh he's short. He didn't mind his work. Just wonder, can he screw out? Oh, he looks certain to be going into the yellow. Can he hit the gap? He can hit the gap. He's fine. And the red actually goes past the eight ball in the opposite middle as well. Can the young man hold himself together? Can the young man hold his over hit it? Oh. He's over hit it. Oh, this is so tense. He's got to avoid the yellow. Oh. Misses the pot. Oh, is wow. that the end of the road for Tom Jones? Jimmy Croxton calls the extension. Tom Jones fears the worst. Oh. Now it's Jimmy Croxton who just has to hold his nerve. He was just trying to avoid the yellow, wasn't he? Tried to pinch it. Just pinched too much of the pocket. Oh, hang on, what's Jimmy playing here? Good pot. Oh, he doesn't Ooh. want it to stick. Ooh, I think he's just he's okay. Just okay. Why didn't he drop the yellow in the middle? Maybe that's a bit tighter than what it looks then. I'm not sure he's got a shot here. What's going on here? Well, Tom Jones will have another shot. What is going on? 
Is there a gap? Is there a gap indeed? As the great man says, there's always a gap. Well, there's always a gap. Wow. Nails the pot. This is madness, folks. Can Tom Jones pot this red? And then where does the white go? Smashing into those yellows <laughs> is my first guess. This is funny. Oh! Red stays up. What's going on? And now Jimmy Croxton gets the chance to win it. Oh. Can he hold it together? It's all happening here. Surely he can't miss these. Wow, what's he played here? He's got to play the plant, has he? Does he go? Oh, he goes. But oh. still, he's the wrong side of the ball. There's pressure on this. Yeah, this last it, yellow. There's will. that much pressure on he don't want to play it. Yeah, that last yellow feels huge. He could hold it. Big, big shot. This is cash ball. Eight balls waiting. This is the shot for the semi-final. Nails it. It's there. Brilliant shot from Jimmy Croxton. Nice shot. Potting stood up under pressure. What a match-up this was. Jimmy Croxton into the semi-final. Huge achievement for Jimmy. But my, oh my, a word for Tom Jones. Challenger Series winner this year. Hell of a run to this stage as a lucky loser. What a 24 hours for him. What a match that was. Unbelievable.